On its maiden voyage, it had 2,200, including the 900 crew. That's a very rounded figure, rounded for a very specific reason. There was a coal strike. Coal is what powered these steam engines. So with the coal strike, a lot of ships did not send sail passengers. Sydney Wesley was from a family of eight, never bought passage on the Titanic. They were on another ship that did not send sail. They migrated over to the Titanic. The whole family perished because of a coal strike. Another story, 1997, Titanic movie, famous Canadian director, understanding not to use real names. The character, the character was Jack Dawson. Here is a Jane Dawson character. The romantic savannas choose to believe that it's the fictional character, Jack Dawson. It's Joseph Dawson, a coal stoker. His role in life was to shovel coal into the first to create the steam battalion ship. Joseph Dawson, 23 year old, living the tourist in the 1997 movie. The pilgrimages to this day, I haven't seen it this year, I've seen it every other year. Remember her name was Rose? Roses, other flowers, personal effects. Jay Dawson is a go-to site just like the Unknown Child. By the way, the Unknown Child, that story has been identified on the headstone, and there's now a preacher there as well. My granddaughter is a boy, and I'm sure she didn't it wasn't thinking that she was going to go back into a history class. The ship was stopped and rushed. His wife was Wendy Wheel. Wendy Wheel was a great, great granddaughter of Ida and Isidore Strauss. They were prominent in the day because they owned Macy's, but also to a scene in the movie. Remember that day was offered seating on the lake. Most green friendly. A lot of parkland. One of the biggest features, it'll give a contiguous skyline to Halifax. Now that's the point of demarcation. South of there are the universities and the high-end homes. North of there are uh, industrial. The have not. Have, have not. So the dockyards, the shipyards, and so on. So now there will not be that drastic point of break off. It'll be a continuous flowing cityscape. We plan to, the last year of their operation. I'll give you a little point about Salties. There's an upstairs, there's a downstairs, there's a patio. Same kitchen, same chef. If you go, choose downstairs or patio. Uh, you're getting the same meal for far less money. But uh, I, this is, that was a preface to say this. The further you move from the harbor, I shouldn't be saying this, but I like you guys. The further you move from the harbor, the better dollar value uh, for your expenditure. I, I say this for the Brunos. You know, I don't get the concept of a lobster roll. Three and a half, three and a half ounces of lobster on a hot dog bun for thirty dollars. But they say it's a steal compared to Bangor. Bangor, forty dollars U.S. and not the quality up here. But anyway, moving up, much better dollar value. Blue Nose, keep that in mind. Now the blue nose in the window, you're going to see a model of the blue nose, and you're going to see a picture of the blue nose. Um, that's our famous fishing vessel. I emphasize fishing because in 1921, it started to enter regattas, and for 16 years, it went undefeated. Nice fishing vessel. Um, a pretty good oration as well. Um, so, unfortunately, it sank off in 1946, fortunately replaced with blue nose 2, 1963, same shipyard, Ludenberg, and now we're south of here. You're visiting by car, you really do have to take in Ludenberg as well. Uh, we're not just Halifax, it's just an hour or south of here, and it's, uh, it's gorgeous. Some wonderful work. Uh, snowblowers rusting from lack of use. But uh, there was a time where the winters were really cold, you know, those drippings on the nose. Well, whether or not it's a fisherman's mitt or a sailor's sleeve, they transfer a little dye and wiping away those drippings, and hey, buddy, you've got a blue nose. And, that's how it started, and it continues, and a lot of things, uh, a lot of things happen here. My daughter runs the Blue Nose Marathon. Now, you know, we're running out. I'm going to defer that story because uh, I thought we were going to sit in traffic for a bit. But we're coming up on the legislature, trying to pound things in sequence. So this legislature is the oldest legislature in Canada. This dates to 1819 of uh, the Democratic Party. We have one independent, one vacant. The oldest legislature in Canada, 1819. And of course you can tell that's a very rare soldier, 1899. So folks, uh, through these lights, through these lights, uh, you're going to see a plaque to the right on a wall, and that plaque says uh, Halifax Club, 1862. And that's the foundation or the founding year of the Halifax Club. Gentlemen's only club. 
gentlemen's only. Today, the president is a female, so times have changed. But with, remember I said votes for the eyes, basically water. So with the gentlemen's club, and this is the primary street because what's below us is mostly water. There is a Halifax club coming up on the right. So in that, in that formula, what do you suppose happened on this street after dark? This is where the ladies of the night perform their affairs. And I tell you that because of Government House. And you've got to see Government House. Uh, government House is the residence. My, uh, my son, her brother, is uh, my friend of the Waltz of course, and he really resents me promoting Keith the way I promote Keith. I talk with them, this is without exaggeration. Uh, they tell me that they would move here in a heartbeat. You know, we're friendly, you know, we're a free city, we're a safe city, more or less. And uh, we have a lot going for us. And people that uh, experience us, us uh, really enjoy us. And, uh, if you don't have those thoughts, at least you may want to take away some very similar thoughts, or maybe you would like to see us again. We really, really, really appreciate it.